I'm going to unbox, assemble, and show you how I'm seasoning the Blackstone griddle. All right, let's start pulling everything out. Took out the first layer, now we have the grill. Looks like the bottom of the grill. So, very well packaged, I will say. Here's everything it comes with. We have shelf, shelf, knobs, and some hardware. Uh, the bottom shelf, drip tray, more hardware over here, and the burner assembly here. And attached to the lid is the griddle itself underneath. You can't quite see it there, but they come wrapped together. And looking under here, we have more parts. And there's what's inside all of those boxes. Caster supports, handle, uh, the basket in the front. Let's get it together. Step one is to attach the legs to the bottom of the grill body. It's not clear as to which goes where in the instructions, but you'll see one, two, three, four, counterclockwise. Each leg sort of has a different design and only fits in one certain spot. For example, this is not interchangeable with that. So just look for the screw holes and you'll know where to put it. We are using the short M16 screws here. You can definitely pick up some time using an electric screwdriver. Just don't strip the screw or go too far. Next, we're going to install the left upper leg base. With four screws. Next, we're going to install the bottom shelf with the short screws inserting here. Here, here, and here. After the shelf is secure, we're going to install these braces here and here. After we have all of those screwed in, we've now assembled the base. Time to attach the casters. And there we have it. Twist on the casters. We'll flip the griddle over, making sure that you have the wheels locked. And it does help to have a second person help you do this so you don't damage it or get hurt. Next, we'll put the grill tank hanger here and here. So the bottom one is actually going to be hooked with the small screw. The top one is going to be this nut and bolt where we pull all the way through and attach the bolt to the nut on the back side. And there we have the gas tank assembly. To finish the installation of the legs, we need to install the bolt there and over here as well. A short screwdriver will be helpful for you in this tight space. Next we will install the knobs in the off position. Next we're going to take the igniter off and we're going to insert a double A battery and tighten it back up. The instructions say to insert the positive side outward toward the knob. A quick test, you can hear it clicking. Next, we will install these side shelf brackets looking for L and R, and you can see they're marked here. Okay, so here, just to give you some perspective, this is the front L and the back R. And tighten these screws right up. And again, for some perspective, it's just the opposite. L left is in the back on this side, and R is in the front. So just take what side you're on and use it that way. This is my left.
Now, before we take and put the shelf on, we want to remove the bottom pre-installed as I've done here, leaving the top so that we can slide the shelf in and then screw it in. I need to use a little bit of force to pop it in. And then we reinstall the screw here on either side. Once that shelf is installed, we'll repeat the process, removing this, removing this, and installing on the side over here. And now both shelves are installed. Now, this small detail but important one needs to be installed, these hood cushions in the front. And on the rear, we're going to want to install grease cup cushions. Once the cushions are installed, you can hang on the back. Notice these are removable, disposable aluminum liners. I think they sell them separately on their website and Amazon. Okay, next we are going to put the griddle on top here and what we want to pay attention to is the four little legs that are on the bottom here here are going to go into these slots so you want to in, put it in here first and then we're going to slide it back to lock it in to give you a better look of what i'm trying to describe here here are the little feet which go into that hole and then slide back when it's locked in it'll look like that Next, we'll want to attach the handle here and here. I find it easier to find the hole and put this sort of washer, a decorative piece on it uh, first, and then we'll put the bar on. Once we have them threaded through, we'll just tighten it up. Now, to hang the basket, there's a cool feature here. Just notice we'll use these clips to hang in any of these slots here. This is the middle setting. You can go higher or lower. We'll try it here for now. And that completes the installation of the Blackstone 30 inch griddle with the exception of attaching the gas tank over here. And we'll remove all of the stickers before we fire this up to season it. Before we start cooking anything on the Blackstone, it's critical to season this. <laughs> and seasoning, one, prevents rust, but also creates like a cast iron non-stick coating. Now, uh, and you do that using uh, oil, but um, before you do that, we want to create a good... Uh, surface for the oil to bond to and I know that this is a new surface but perhaps some things during the manufacturing process or adhesives could have come in contact so we're going to wash this up I have uh, a drop of soap um, and uh, just water in here we're going to wash and dry it thoroughly when washing make sure we're also getting the sides as well I'm not using the adhesive part of the sponge. You can see I'm using the, the soft spot. Then we're going to dry thoroughly and then also allow it to air dry. Next, we'll hook up the propane tank. Make sure that's screwed on there tightly. We'll turn on the gas slowly. And then we'll So, a lot of people recommend the Blackstone griddle seasoning, obviously Blackstone griddle. Uh, I'll probably use that for maintenance. I just had a friend who went through uh, seasoning this exact same grill, and I did some research, and it looked like uh, flaxseed oil is, is the, going to give me the, the coating I would like to have. So, we're going to give that a try. We're now going to preheat the griddle for 30 minutes. All right, our 30 minute preheat is completed. Now we are going to shut this off. We're gonna get our oil, flaxseed oil, and a paper towel. 
going to apply a little flax seed to the paper towel. And then we're just going to wipe it. Wipe down the whole thing. And we're going to let this go until it's done smoking and then we'll apply another coat. We'll fire it back up and burn all that oil off. Once it stops smoking, we'll repeat this process five times. As you can see, it has largely stopped smoking. You can see a little bit, but uh, so we're going to turn the dials back off, let it cool a bit, wipe another coat and fire it back up on high. A couple coats in, we have this yellowish, orangish, brownish, blackish coat going on now. There's the final burn. It also has a shiny uh, look to it here. I'm not sure if the camera's catching that or not. And here's the finished product of the seasoned grill. Time to cook.